Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and I just wanted to talk to you about a little bit about some clear and a project that I'm doing for my neighbor. So let's let's go ahead and check it out. It's uh, it's some sidebars for a 2010 Toyota Tacoma. All right. Um, I just I sanded it all down, so it's all sanded, ready to go. We're gonna be painting it tomorrow. Let me just flip it over quick. Just want to make sure all the water's out of it, so we're letting it dry. But this is from a 2010. It's brand new. He just got it. Gave me the box. I just opened it up and sanded it all down. 2010 Toyota Tacoma. Uh, they came silver, but he wants to paint them white, the same car as the truck, for a little custom look. So I said, okay. So he said, yeah, I'll give you a couple hundred bucks. So, you know, charge them uh, 400 bucks to uh, just sand them down and paint them. Now, let me just talk to you about uh, material, how much material cost me on this little mini job, and what we got. So, I'll open up my cabinet here. Hold on one second. All right, so we got uh, some clear here, one gallon of clear. Uh, $67 for the high solids clear. Not a bad deal. Um, hardener, we need, this is a, a two to one mixture. So we needed a half a gallon, two quarts of our hardener. So we got that. Okay, so one of these were about 40 bucks. So you figure, you know, 60 plus 80, 140 bucks for this set. And this is a good clear. All right, this is a really good clear, uh, especially the, the high solids. And we have our base coat. Where did I put my base coat? Oh, our base coat is actually over here by the new gun. I actually just picked up a new Devil Bis uh, to play with. See how that goes. A little review for you guys uh, who are on a budget and who are looking for a high, high volume, low pressure spray gun. I'm actually going to test it out on our, our side, our step bars. So anyway, here's here's the base coat. I picked up one pint. Actually, I I overbought. I really only needed a half a pint of this stuff because I have a whole bunch of other base. Um, but anyway, you know, because you could go over uh, your your pro your part with another white base coat and then go over with your true color. You know what I mean? Just to get it white. Plus, it was silver anyway, so this thing will take really little bit of paint to paint. But seventeen dollars for one pint of this stuff and this will make one quart because you're going to be mixing it up with your reducer so anyway just uh just a little zoom in here we got our ppg high gloss clear 96 bucks but we get it for 67 okay uh 61 for the hardener 43 bucks times 286 and our paint so we got all of that came out to 179 Okay, and remember with the clear, we're only going to be using maybe about a pint of clear. So we're going to have a lot of clear coat left over for a whole bunch of other side jobs or enough to even complete a complete car, paint a complete car. So what I plan to do is use the rest of that clear to paint this Mercedes. This Mercedes is almost done, uh, ready to go. Just got to sand down these spots and get it ready. Uh, we have our trunk spoiler all molded in. It's gonna be looking really nice, uh, all custom. But that's it. So again, it's, it's Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the paints, what we're doing with those side step bars, and about the clear, how you could use one gallon of clear for a whole bunch of side jobs or you could even do touch-ups so you know this the total material here for the job okay is only going to be really costing me 1760 plus maybe plus maybe thirty dollars for the clear not even I'd say twenty bucks for the clear that's how much we're gonna use maybe fifteen dollars worth of clear so you figure thirty five dollars in material uh, you know you charge 400 bucks the rest is in your pocket profit so if you're looking to learn auto body and paint from home um, you want to bust out a couple of jobs do some of your own jobs you may want to check out learnautobodyandpaint.com it's a full membership site that I created uh, for any online for any newbie that's willing to take some training through online video it's pretty 
pretty cool I have members from across the world and we're also going to be doing a review on this Devil Bist finish line series high volume low pressure show you how to set it up I show you how to make it work uh, I've been painting with my SADA for years and that thing's been painting like crap I need a new rebuild kit in it so I decided instead of paying 320 bucks to get a rebuild kit for that SADA let's go ahead and do a little you know review on one of these cheap guns because you guys starting out will probably be picking up one of these 159 bucks uh, this is not even uh, the top of the line they have better ones but this is a middle grade great I think it's a great price um, you know you got your fan you got your fluid flow uh, it actually comes with three different fluid tips 1.3 1.5 and 1.8 this is a 1.3 for your base coat clear coat um, and it's gonna be the first time I've painted with 1.3 tips okay always used to do my base coat clear coat with a 1.4 but we're gonna go ahead test it out do a 1.3 tip uh, fluid nozzle on this car and on the sidebars so again, uh, hope you enjoyed this little mini session. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.